Hey guys, welcome to Drinks Tube. My name is Rich and today we have some of the world's greatest bartenders showing you some cocktail hacks. These are some pro tips and tricks that are guaranteed to impress your guests this party season. So check them out. You're gonna see cool ways to open a bottle of Prosecco, how to garnish a cocktail beautifully, an impressive way to mix cocktails, and an extra bit of skill from one of the world's fastest bartenders. Ciao, I'm Simone and this is a special way to impress your friends and open a bottle of sparkling wine. So let me explain how to do it. Every cage of Pressurance bottle that holds the course is twisted with three full turns. You see this ring? Can you see this one here? So it's very simple. You hold it with the left hand without moving it. So this stay firm and simply do like this. One, two, and three. One, two, and three. Your friends are gonna be impressed. Salute, ciao. Hey guys, it's Steve Schneider from New York City, employees only. When I make drinks, I like to add a little bit of touch of showmanship to my drinks, you know? I'll show you a basic move, a basic flair at all, is the tin spin. Basically, you take the fat, meaty part of your hand and just spin the tin over it. Just spin it. Let's keep practicing. Look good and make good drinks too. Cheers. Hey guys, me again. My cocktail hack is a wonderful little garnish that we bartenders call the apple fan. It is so, so easy to do. All you need is a sharp knife and a juicy apple. So how to do it? Take one Granny Smith apple, cut it vertically, and then cut it vertically in half once more. So you're left with a quarter of an apple. Now, if you use your finger as a guide, cut some really th wafer thin slices to about three quarters of the way down, so until you start feeling some resistance. There you are. And then just come back to the front and chop through. And then what you've got here, if you're not feeling confident, you can just stick a cocktail stick through the, uh, the base of the apple fan, just like that, or like a deck of cards, or indeed a fan, just fan it out. So that's it, it's really simple, and it looks amazing, really impressive. Just to show how impressive, we're gonna pop it onto a treacle that we've just knocked up. There you go. If you're interested in how to make this delicious rum and apple concoction, check the link down here below. And there it is, a beautiful quarter apple fan. Hi, my name is Fabio. I work in a sub bar in Sao Paulo. And today we will show a technique called throwing. Basically, it consists in uh, the cocktail shaker. In one tin, you keep ice cube and you hold it with the strainer. So this is the part that you will work the uh, temperature of your drink and you will oxygenate it, just throwing the liquid from one thing to the other with the result of obtaining a nice oxygenation without shaking, without adding a massive dilution. Here we go. Can you see this bubble? It's not soap, it's alcohol. Thank you very much. Hey everybody, I'm Joe and I'm going to show you my absolute favorite party trick, which is called Sabreage. And basically, we're just going to chop off the top of a bottle of champagne or Prosecco. It's the best way of opening it. Once you learn how, you'll never, never open a bottle of champagne the same way again. But what you want to do is follow up this line to where it hits the little lip. And if you hit it just right with the back of a knife, it should chop straight clean off. Ready? One, two, three. Boom, how awesome is that? Make sure you're really careful though. Never do this inside. Make sure you never aim it at anyone because there's a lot of pressure. And most importantly, be really careful when you're pouring your champagne or Prosecco. But that is my favorite party trick. I hope you enjoy it. Cheers. So there you go, how easy is that? Make sure you try them, share them with your friends, post your comments in the boxes below. Subscribe to DrinksTube, it's a wonderful channel where you get to learn all about cocktails, beers, wine, soft drinks. We have a Christmas playlist of lots of lovely Christmas drinks, or if you're watching on your mobile, there's a link in the description box below. And have a very Merry Christmas.